Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to some more of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got done in Pewter City, and today we are going to take on a whole bunch of trainers here on Route 3. And apparently that dude says he saw us in Viridian Forest. How? I don't know, because... Well, I mean, I guess it could have been a bug trainer Colton that we fought in Viridian Forest, but in all honesty, I don't remember. Uh, for less the majority of this episode, we'll be, uh, trainer, or well, mandatory trainer battles, because there's a lot of trainer battles on this, uh, route. Uh, the other half will probably be, um, we're not Pokemon catching, but I'm gonna be getting over the Pokemon you can find on this route, because I believe we can find three new ones, but I'm not gonna go over that. How are you still alive? Oh well, it doesn't matter. You know, I was playing some Pokemon White last night, and I was in the, uh, the battle subway. Uh, more or less what that is, is, uh, the battle frontier of the game. So, ooh, quick attack. Uh, quick attack is a move that has priority. Um, more or less it allows you to go first. Unless, uh, your opponent uses quick, atta quick attack and has better speed than you. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Ralph. Just because I could see Tail Whip being slightly more useful than Growl, and by slightly I mean not much more useful, but just have it in case. Anyway, as I was saying, I was playing uh, Pokemon White last night, and I was in the battle subway, and I believe I got like a 29 battle winning streak going before I eventually lost. But, oh my god, it was getting so ridiculous towards the end there. Everything was living with like 1 HP because of either sturdy, or it had a quick claw and outsped me, or it had a focus sash, or a focus band, and I was like, oh! Or it had protect, which I think everything, oops, everything in that game, I swear, has protect. But, eh, I don't know, it's just a couple of observations I've made. Overall, it was pretty fun. I used my hair across, it had an adamant nature and the guts, so I gave it a flame orb. Got it to level 100 earlier today, so... Made me quite happy. Uh, sticky kid I want to fight. One, one of these kids wearing the shorts has a really funny and iconic line. Yeah, this is it. Hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. I don't know why, but everybody found that line hilarious and... Well, oh, come on, it is kind of funny. Youngster Ben and his ratata. Not quite as good as Youngster Joey and his top percentile ratata. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, I believe that was, uh, in the, uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver games, the second generation with Jota. Uh, there was this guy that would, uh, call you up and he'll be like, uh, My Raditas in the top percentile of all Raditas, basically meaning it's, like, the best, and I believe they hacked the game and found out that that Raditas has, like, the best IVs out of, like, any Raditas ever or something like that. At least that's why I heard. I don't know how they found that out, because I heard you're not even supposed to be aware of IV's existence, but... Considering there's no way to tell, but... To my knowledge, anyway. I'm not really good with IV's and EV's. I just EV train a couple of Pokemon for about a six Pokemon team that I can use in Wi-Fi battle, and that's it. I don't have Sandstorm teams and Sunny Day teams and all that stuff. I just train up as many Pokemon as I think would be good EV trained Pokemon. And I swear, if I get poisoned at any point during this... Whoa, critical hit, ouch. I don't believe it! Wait, you don't believe that your shorts aren't actually comfy and easy to wear? <laughs> um... Don't fight her because... Then she blocks you off and you're forced to fight them both. So I'm gonna fight the bug trainer here. Oh, there's a hidden item down there. You know what? Uh, I'll get that on the way back, because I have to come back here and uh, fight everybody off-screen anyway before uh, we uh, take on the next area of the game, so. Uh, what else have I been doing Pokemon-related lately since we are playing a Pokemon game? I should have Pokemon-related commentary. Oh, I don't know! <laughs> Poison. You know, I really wouldn't be complaining if this was my hair across in white, because it has guts. And I'd be like, yay, you poisoned me, you sealed your doom. But no, that doesn't apply here. Which makes me sad.
And yeah, I'm hurt by poison. Shocker. And I've come to the realization that I'm not gonna live this battle, am I? Am I? Are I? I are smart. My grammar is good. Yeah, I'm not gonna live. Stormy, no! Well, that was slightly selfish. I'm not exactly sure if Squirtle was going to misclick for the win. I'm not exactly sure if uh, Squirtle is going to evolve on this route. Uh, it's a possibility. Although, I usually have my uh, first gen starters evolve somewhere in uh, the next area we're about to go into. It's always been tradition that they always get to level 16 right around there. I think only one time have I had a starter evolve on this route, and I believe it was a Charmander move? I don't know. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Blue lately, and I've been trying to go through that game so I can note the differences between this game and that game, just because, I don't know. And I think that's kind of interesting, like the whole uh, uh, Spaceship Columbia thing uh, in Peter City versus the uh, Space Shuttle thing in this game. I'm gonna have to go back and heal after this one time, so I can get uh, Pikachu some more of it. Did I say Pikachu? I meant Stormy. Yeah, you're gonna notice that I call my Pokemon by their actual Pokemon names and not by their nicknames. And I just give them nicknames just because I should. That's kind of the way I roll. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna go back and heal, so just hold on one second. Okay, let's continue on with this. Um, while I was um, at the Pokemon Center, I decided to go back and uh, buy one more repel because that's all I could afford. Yeah, for some reason, I am broke in this game, and it's probably because I'm using up all my money on Pokeballs so I can catch as many things as I can. Which probably isn't exactly smart, but eh. I don't know, I usually spend the majority of my money on Pokeballs, even if it's not a catch em all run. If that's what you want to call it. Ow! Thank you for this. And fried caterpillar. Ooh. I don't know why, but that since Pikachu like destroyed that Caterpie uh, with that Thundershock, it reminded me of um uh, one video that I saw a while back. It was called a Pokemon spoof. Uh, I guess you can look it up if you want. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Mermaid of Death, and I remember that because uh, I think we were the ones that found it, but. There was this one part where they had their Pikachu, and they found a Caterpie, and it was like, Pikachu, go feed it up! And there was this Caterpie, it was like, Caterpie, Caterpie, yeah! And, uh, I believe Pikachu used, like, Thundershock on it, and it just, just turned it into a pile of ash, and they're like, aww. And I thought to myself, like, why doesn't that ever happen in the games? I swear, that could happen. Uh, but anyway, off of my pointless ram rambling that has absolutely no impact on this... LP. Not exactly sure why I thought she would give me an item. I don't know why. While I'm fighting her, I guess I could go over the uh, new Pokemon that are here on this route since you've uh, seen where you can get them. Uh, after all the trainers like standing in a little uh, uh, area of grass here. First off in this area, you can get uh, Nidoran Female, it's the first type of Nidoran. There are two types of Nidoran. Uh, Nidoran Female is a lot more common in Leaf Green and Fire Red. You're only going to find it on this route 1% of the time. Um, Nidoran Female is much more defensive when fully evolved, and when fully evolved, it um, gets a Ground subtype, so it becomes a Poison Ground type. Uh, it's much more defensive than Attack. Um, than an attacker, and it's a little bit slower than its counterpart, but if you want a good defensive Pokemon, it's pretty decent. Uh, next one up is Nidoran Male, the second counterpart to the Nidoran family. Uh, like Nidoran Female, when it evolves, it um, gets a ground subtype. Uh, it's basically an opposite to Nidoran Female when it's fully evolved. Factors Nidoran Female right now. But, um, more or less when evolved, it's a much better attacker, it has better speed, so I kind of recommend Nidoran Male a little bit more, but in all honesty, it could go either way. It really doesn't matter. 
Uh, Nidoran Mew is a lot easier to find in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I believe there's only a 1% chance that you'll find it. So, have fun looking for that if you're playing Leaf Green like I am. Uh, there is a way that you can get them in both games, don't worry. Uh, I'll be showing that later on. But right now, if you want an Nidoran male or female, whichever one's harder to get in your version, I recommend just collecting two, uh, in my case, two Nidoran females, because, yeah, we'll need one for something later. Uh, the final Pokemon you can get here is Jigglypuff. Everybody knows the Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is... It has some pretty good HP, and it's a pretty decent special attacker. Um, it's a level up moveset, isn't exactly that good. But, um, when fully evolved, and you can evolve it pretty soon, so if you want to fully evolve the Jigglypuff, which is really tough, I highly recommend getting it now. Um, when fully evolved, it becomes a much better attacker, it has some pretty decent attacks, pretty decent special attack. Its defenses aren't that good. But, mm, I don't know. However, if you want something like Wigglytuff and Jigglypuff, I kind of recommend waiting until we get to our next area. Which is apparently very poor. I kind of forgot about this little route. But it's actually this place, Mount Moon, where you can find something much similar to uh, Jigglypuff. Here you can get a Prism Berry. Uh, I believe that uh, heals yourself from confusion? Confusion status ailment? Yeah, I believe that's it. Okay, with that all said and done, I think we can actually head into Mount Moon for just a little bit. Uh, the Pokemon in Mount Moon, I think I'm going to go over in the uh, next episode, more or less because, um, actually I don't really have a good reason. Oh, why did I fight you? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's waiting near the entrance for her friends who are apparently deeper in the cave. Ten Buck says they would never be good from the game. No. Uh, speaking of cute pink things like Jigglypuff, there's a Clefairy. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you would trap me into Encore. You would. But yeah, Mount Moon. It's an interesting place. I kind of like it. Um, it's a much better cave-like area than a certain other cave-like area we're getting into. Uh, in probably about... Thank you. In probably about five or six episodes. That area is a jerk. I always get lost there. But thankfully, we're not there. The worst thing we gotta deal with now is a Clefairy using Sing and Double Slap. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, because of my ability, I paralyzed. Uh, if we haven't, since we haven't seen Sing before, Sing, what that does, more or less, it's just a status ailment. Uh, puts you to sleep for a good two to five turns. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Don't let the Clefairy beat you. Oh, come on. Please don't get five hits. Okay, thank you. Wake up. Really? Okay, thank you. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Thank you. Come on. Oh! Joy. Something tells me I'm gonna have to train Stormy off screen after this episode. <laughs> Good news? Squirt is close to evolving. And that's how it's done. Okay guys, uh, I think I'm gonna end, up, end off this episode here just because it's about 15 minutes 30 seconds at least on my recording time. So, if you liked this episode, please subscribe. I know there wasn't exactly much that went on today. Huh, there's one of those new Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I know there wasn't exactly much that went on today, and I kind of apologize for that, but it was just a beat up all the trainers and explore a new area kind of day, so. Next time, we're going to explore deeper into Mount Moon, and I guess I'll show you a montage of the things that I've got, that I got off screen. So. Completely forgot about this. Wow, I are fail. I guess we're gonna have an evolution before we end off this episode, because Squirtle, being now level 16, is evolving into... A war... Yeah, a war turtle. 
I have to admit, War, Tur War Turtle looks kind of cool, and I can never pronounce his name right. Anyway. So, next time we're going to do all that. See you guys then. Bye-bye.